Are you tired of having a boring doll room in your dollhouse? If you want to turn your doll room from this to this, then keep on watching. Hey guys, what's up? It's Angie and welcome back to Hitch Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do some super cute spring decorations to decorate your dollhouse. And these are really easy and you can use them with supplies that you have at home already. If you don't have these supplies at home, they're super cheap and you can find them anywhere. So I think that you guys will enjoy this video and if you do, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to never miss out on another video. Well, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is to make a tassel banner. And you're going to make a tassel banner which consists of tassels. And if you haven't seen this before, it's like a little thing made of yarn. You can also make it out of tissue paper, but I'm going to teach you how to make it out of yarn for today. And super easy. So you're going to need some yarn and I'm going to choose like some brighter spring colors because if you use kind of some darker colors, it's kind of going to throw off the spring theme that we're going to have. So I'm going to use this pretty blue and this sparkly pink for this and it's really nice. And also you're going to need some scissors because scissors are important when you're trying to cut the yarn for the tassel which you will see in a couple of seconds. And that's pretty much it so we're going to get started. So this part may appear a little bit confusing, but it's really basic. So what you're going to do is get the yarn and wrap it around your finger about 20 to 30 times. So this is going to create the width and the fullness of the tassel. After you have done that, you're just going to cut your strip of yarn. So you have this here. And now you're going to cut another long strip of yarn so that you can do this. So you're going to pass that piece of yarn under all the yarn that you have wrapped around your finger as you can see me do here. So you're just going to pass it through and then you are going to simply tie a knot with that to secure all those yarns and to maintain them in that loop. After you have tied the knot, you're going to remove that loop from your finger and right now it looks anything but a tassel. So you're just going to want to tie another knot if you'd like to make sure that that stays in place and it's nice and secure. And after you have tied that knot, you are going to like more or less comb out all the yarns with your fingers as you see me do here so that they're, all the yarns poking out are nice and flat. So now that you have this weird loop shaped thing, you are going to get another very long piece of yarn. You need to be um, generous with this piece of yarn because you need a lot of yarn. So now you can get something heavy to put on the end, but it didn't work out for me, so I just did it with my hands. I'm simply wrapping that large piece of yarn around this loop several times to make sure that it stays in place like this so you can more or less see that it's starting to get the shape of a tassel and then you're going to simply tie a knot with that yarn and you can make double knots if you'd like to make sure it's nice and secure in place. For this part you're going to get all of your loops and cut through those loops here so as you can see and now you have more something that looks more like a tassel at this point but you have long, long strands and they're all uneven so you're just going to cut them all to the same size and you might want to cut your tassel down size a little bit so it looks more even and then it'll start looking more like a tassel now I've already made two tassels in total and I'm just going to redo this process with you guys so you can have more or less an idea how to do it again because I probably did not explain it very well in the beginning. So yeah. So you're just going to continue wrapping it around your hand for 20 to 30 times until you're finished and then cut that off. Cut off another strip of yarn and pass it under all of those things and create a knot. So after you have created that knot, you can dye a double knot if you'd like to. And with that strange loop that you have after you've taken it out of your hands, you're just going to comb it out a little bit with your fingers. And then you're going to get another long piece of yarn and just wrap it around that loop several times. You can even tie knots to keep it there in place. And then since all of your threads are going to be uneven, you can just cut through them and cut them down to size as you would like it. 
Alrighty, so I have made all of my tassels that I'd like and I have threaded yarn through a needle of mine and I am threading this yarn through my tassels in the colors that I would like them, in the order of the colors that I would like them. Sorry that you can't really see this but what I'm doing is I'm just threading the needle right through the center of the tassel and I tied a knot at one end of the yarn so that it keeps the tassel right there in place. So as you can see, I'm simply creating a garland or a banner of these. So sorry it's not really visible, but um, you can more or less have an idea of what I'm doing. So now that you have made your tassel, you are just going to tape it to the wall of your dollhouse if you'd like. My tassel came out a little bit too small for my liking so I just decided to put it on one corner instead of putting it across the room so you can make yours longer if you'd like. So that is basically it. So for this next uh, DIY, I like to call this the flower wall. And why I call it the flower wall is because the wall of the dollhouse or of the doll room consists of flowers. So I found these flowers at my local party city and what I'm doing is taping the ends of them towards the wall in different colors, different spring themed colors all along the wall and it adds a really cute fresh spring look to it especially since these colors are pastels so you're just going to do this to the whole entire wall however much you'd like. Also something awesome about decorating your dollhouse is that you don't always need to go out and buy something. You can just decorate your dollhouse with what you have. So I'm just putting up some posters here on the corner and then I'm decorating my whole dollhouse with just some spring themed um, decorations. Just putting it everywhere and it's really adding a perfect touch to this whole dollhouse because they're nice, bright, fun colors. And you can add pillows, put flower vases, put rugs in, put more posters, anything that you'd like and it'll add a perfect touch to this room. Everybody, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did like this room, let me know um, what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you try any of these out, let me know how they came out for you. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time, hopefully in this room again. Hasta la vista. Bye.